I'm Lisa Miller and I'm a staff scientist at the National Synchrotron Light Source. The National Synchrotron Light Source is a very large facility and over 2100 scientists come to visit the facility every single year and they do science in all different areas, all the way from physics to chemistry to medicine and engineering. Synchrotrons are multi-million dollar facilities and therefore individual companies and universities wouldn't typically build them and instead in the United States most of the synchrotrons are built by the U.S. Department of Energy. They're paid for by tax dollars, and scientists from all over the world can come to use them to do their experiments free of charge. We're introducing a program called InSync to give teachers and students the opportunity to use these facilities without leaving the classroom. Now, Tony Lanzarotti, who's also a beamline scientist at the National Synchrotron Light Source, will tell you more about the program. InSync is a program that we hope to begin here at Brookhaven National Laboratory uh, this coming November. Uh, it stands for Introducing Synchrotrons into the Classroom. And it's really an attempt to try to give high school teachers and students uh, a sense for the way science really gets done. Uh, that means that you know, the teachers will put together a hypothesis, they will come up with a proposal uh, to try to test that hypothesis, and then get access to uh, instrumentation, the kind of instrumentation they would not be able to get into a classroom because these are very expensive facilities to try to test that hypothesis. So uh, teachers will submit a proposal, it'll be reviewed by their peers, so both by scientists and by other high school teachers, and then it'll be rated. Based on those ratings, those teachers will be able to access some of the beam lines that we have available here at the National Synchrotron Light Source. To participate in the course, high school teachers will first have to take a three-day training program that'll be held here at Brookhaven this summer. Teachers that have gone through the program will then be able to submit proposals into the system in the early fall. These proposals will be reviewed and rated by a panel of scientists and high school teachers, and then those that have uh, received the highest scores will be awarded uh, beam time uh, later in the fall. Initially, the program will be restricted to local Long Island schools, but we hope that very soon this will actually be open as a national program. Our goal is to bring big science into classrooms across the country. 